Morning, ladies and gentlemen, I am Chad with CD Shave, and thank you very much for joining me for today's head shave and a soap profile. Let's get right into it. Holiday of the day today is National Spank Out Day. Feel free to give somebody the old spankaroo. However, I will caveat that with do it at your own risk. Be mindful of who you do that to, and make sure that you are definitely either allowed or you think the person will be able to take it okay. I would not recommend doing it to a random stranger on the street. Uh, however, if you do, let me know how that works out for you. Comment section below. All right. Moving on to the soap. Today we have, through the fire fine craft, Lakester. I love their labels. They always come out pretty uh, badass, in my opinion. It's inspired by Armani's Eau de Rome's. I'm not really sure if I'm saying that correctly because... Quite honestly, I don't even speak English all that well. So, now let alone a foreign language. All right. Uh, as far as the sense strength is concerned, off the puck, which is right here. Give me a better shot of that. It starts with a... It's definitely, it's definitely a stronger scent. I mean, it's cologne-based. I find cologne scents tend to be a little bit on the stronger side. So, I'd give this probably a 7 or an 8 for a sense strength. Kind of starts with a burst of citrus... And then I grab that little bit of patchouli, and then the sage kind of carries in for me. Anyway, right at the end. It's very, it's barely noticeable, but it's right at the end. Yeah, definitely nice scent. I like this quite a bit. And as far as the rest of the gear goes, synthetic knot, shave brush. I'm going with the synthetic knot because I'm uh, trying out, uh, it's not really the, definitely about the soap base on this one, because I've used this soap base before. However, every time I try a soap, I try to go with a synthetic knot, um, on this one and I don't recall who did this brush it's not marked I can never remember so that's the deal somebody knows feel free to throw it in the bottom it was either EB lay the works or um, Brett Mazingo uh, it's one of those two uh, anyway so that's the brush right there uh, synthetic knot going with that we're gonna go with Gillette fat boy we're gonna set this baby right on setting number in the middle uh, between 9 and 7 alright so with that we're going to be throwing in a Voskhod blade right here and of course after the shave we have the old JD bottle a little bit of witch hazel like right on the noggin there and we have the matching aftershave to go with the Lakester soap so that is the rest of the gear. Uh, incidentally, I would suggest if those, I don't always bring this up, but those of you uh, that may or, this is an Allen block. I try to keep one of these on standby just in case my fingers get slick. And with a lot of these great soaps that are out there, um, the high end ones and this one too, and any soap rather, uh, it, you don't want to run the risk of dropping any of your equipment. So this is great. Even if you don't use it on your face, you can just take your fingers and wipe it across there. It takes the, the, uh, the viscosity right off and it works well for holding onto your gear should they get a little slick so that is the uh the gear that we have we're going to go ahead and load up the blade we're going to load the brush get our water ready and in the meantime take a look at this the lakester is a car that is very streamlined with four exposed tires usually made from a modified aircraft drop tank this became a fad after world war ii when drop tanks were more available and cheap the origin of this soap is a noble one through the Fire Fine Craft developed this soap back in 2016 in order to raise money for the Flint, Michigan water crisis. It was such a hit back then, they decided to add it to their line this year. The 5-ounce soap in a plastic tub with screw-top cap and 4-ounce glass bottle with screw-top cap, both decaled in waterproof labels, can drift into your mailbox for $15.95 each. The scent is crisp yet clean, making you feel like you are outside in the open air, similar to how you would feel on a salt flat in a lakester breaking speeds of over 180 miles per hour. While this soap won't buy you a high-speed, retrofitted drop tank, it might just make you feel like the next Mario Andretti. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. As you can see, <laughs> plenty of lather. I went nuts on this just because I, I like to. I like to have all kinds of lather in the bowl. I know a lot of it I get. I end up wasting a lot of it, but there it is. I just, I, I love shaving. I love the way that it, this stuff holds the lather. It's just, the lather stability on this stuff is awesome. All right, so 
Uh, let's throw a little bit of water on the head here, and let's do that. Let's do the first pass, shall we? All right. So the all in all, the soap took me a little bit longer to do because I wanted to fill the bowl just to kind of let you guys see what this soap is capable of in case you've never seen one of her products before. The amount of soap that I put in there was pretty ridiculous. It was probably almost an ounce. Um, I don't expect anybody that would ever need that for any kind of a shave, but you know, everybody's different, I suppose. All right, all lathered up. Gillette, first pass. So this soap is supposed to be released on May 3rd, so it's not on their website as of yet. So just pay attention to that. If you happen to finish this video and you go looking for it, understand it's not going to be on there. This is more of a, a preview, if you will. As with all of Through the Fire Fine Craft soaps, I've never had an issue with the performance. The razor's gliding over my skin like it was nothing. Just flies right over it. And I had about eh, three or four days worth of growth. And despite what some people think, my hair actually grows pretty fast. First pass is in the books. Residual slickness is crazy. I mean, I can't even I can't even snap my fingers on that. So throw a little bit of water in the head. Yeah, we're gonna uh, jump right into this, finish up this shave, and I will see you guys in the post shave. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are in the post shave. As you can see, we have top status, dome of perfection, no nicks, cuts, areas of irritation, razor bumps, smooth as glass. Perfect. A little bit of witch hazel on that. All right, as far as the lather stability is concerned, as you can see, it was solid all the way through. Perfectly dense, it retained its hydration, no no issues there, no questions about the performance. The uh, the skin feel afterwards, to me, I, you know, I took a few minutes before I went right into the post shave and I cleaned everything up and uh, I it my skin feels plenty of elasticity in it, it doesn't have any dryness, it's not tight, uh, I didn't feel that at all with this soap, I 
as with any of their soaps, I'm very happy with their performance. The um, the scent strength I, I wanted to mention is got really strong throughout the shave, which to me is a good thing. I like cologne scents. I like that type of uh, that type of aroma. It just smells nice to me. I really I've always liked the cologne based scents. Uh, they've been something I've always kind of gravitated towards. Some people like gourmand. I like this. So anyway, that is how I what I think of that as far as the aftershave is concerned. Let's see if it matches. So far it does. Right off, right out of the bottle, I get a little bit of the uh, little bit of the citrus that kind of punches forward a little bit more, as some, a lot of uh, uh, cologne-based or colognes tend to do that. They tend to hit they hit you with the citrus right away. Perfect match. Perfect match. Yep, my skin feels nice. Doesn't feel too dry. And yeah, we're all, we're good. This was the shave, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for joining me. If you have any questions about this or any of my videos, please leave it in the comment section below. Uh, if you've tried this soap and uh, or s splash for that matter, and you have comments about that, let me know. Let me know what you think. Either way. Again, thank you very much for joining me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, please do so. But make sure you knock that bell. That way you get a notification. And please select all. I don't have a schedule as far as when I release videos. I do them when I do them. And that way you get notified. Folks, thank you very much for joining me. If you have shaves today, have great shaves. Have a great rest of the day. And we'll see you guys and girls in the next video.